Hey everyone, it's John from the Company of Heroes team. We want to thank everyone who played the recent Company of Heroes 3 multiplayer tech test. As always, community feedback has been fantastic. We received over 650 bug reports from players, and we've been keeping a close eye on the forums and our other community channels. All that feedback is directly helping us make the right adjustments, both for next month's launch, but also beyond that, as we get ready to support Company of Heroes 3 for years to come. We're gonna recap how the tech test went, some of the key learnings, and how we're addressing issues raised by the community. First, let's talk about all things art related. One of the biggest topics of discussion really focused on the look, feel, and readability of the game right now. So the version of the game that we were using for the tech test was about a month old, and a major lighting pass wasn't quite ready for it, but you'll see updated versions in our upcoming deep dives. We also found two rendering and map bugs that were causing lighting shadow artifacts and missing terrain details, which contributed to degraded visuals. For some users, game scaling was also defaulting to a low setting, meaning they were seeing subpar resolutions and blurriness. Overall, these bugs had a sizable impact on the visual presentation during the tech test. The good news is we have most of these fixes internally already, and we look forward to showing the game again closer to launch. What's more, we will be monitoring the impact that these changes will have, how they resonate with players, and what additional actions we can take post-launch. Some players raised concerns that Co3 sound design didn't quite meet expectations. An important takeaway is that we found an issue where sound output quality was defaulting to low or medium for some players instead of to high, which would significantly degrade their audio experience. Also, initially, when we approached Co3 sound design, it was with an emphasis on realism, with gunshots and explosions having more of a crack, whereas past co-titles had kind of that old-school Hollywood kapow. However, we've heard you, and the team is reworking and optimizing several audio FX, including cannons, machine guns, explosions, off-map artillery, and more to give them that heavy impact. Not only that, but we're also planning to completely remix the audio for all of our tanks at launch. This was a tech test after all, so we want to briefly touch on some technical items. We had over four times our initial estimate of players take part in the tech test, which was really fantastic to see. Our average gameplay latency or matchmaking times were both lower than our targets. We were able to test over 1,400 different types of hardware in a ton of different configurations, and we found and fixed several crashes related to configurations, rendering, and game mechanics. A key callout is that certain GPU models that were slightly older were experiencing worse performance than they really should have been getting. The tech test has helped us get ahead of this early and get to work on the solutions for launch. Overall, performance during the tech test really hit our target. Our first hotfix during the tech test cut our crash rate by a third. What's more, we have great data to help us work on reducing the crash rate even further for launch. Finally, there was a bunch of other great feedback on other areas. Some examples include WASD controls, custom keybinds, additional camera settings, and other systems. While overall players seemed to really enjoy the gameplay, we heard great balance and design related feedback too. Rest assured, we're taking all that feedback on board and we will be addressing these areas in our post-launch plans. Thanks again for being a part of the co-development process and keep the feedback coming. It really does help us prioritize and continue improving this game and franchise that we all love so much. Thanks so much and we'll see you at launch.